Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use fingernail posts with two different earrings, a large pair and a small pair. First I'll prep the earrings as normal, get them all cut out, get out our backing, our fingernail posts, and some glue. So we'll start prepping our earrings and gluing them onto the backing. And then for the fingernail post ones, I'm going to cut out larger pieces as you can see here. And then we're going to file down the fingernail post a little bit just to roughen up that side so it glues better. You can use sandpaper or I just use a nail file. And then I'm going to add a little bit of Gorilla Glue on it like so. You can see just spread it over and then place them where I want them to be on the back of the earrings. Gluing these down first means that we can hide them with our backing material so it looks nice and clean. Now taking that backing material, you can see I've cut it out a little bit bigger and I'm just going to fold it in half lengthwise or hot dog style. And then I'm going to line it up with the earring to see exactly where the lever of the fingernail post hits down below right there. And I can mark it with a pencil or I can grab scissors and snip it. So you'll see I'm going to mark right there and then we can cut a little slot where the lever is going to fit in between. And just do a little snip. You can always make it a little bit bigger. Don't make it too big when you start. And then we can open up the earring and put it inside. So I just push the lever through the slot like so. And then I just push the fabric and have the earring post go right through it. Uh, dependent on the material you're using, you might need to poke a hole with a large needle. Like if you're using hide or a thicker leather that you can't penetrate easily. I put a little bit of glue down so that way our backing is sitting nice and flush like so. And then I'm just going to close the lever and we can start gluing some of the other sections. So I like to pick up underneath and glue right where that little slit is because we don't want it to open up and to show the felt and the stitches. So secure that down to make sure you don't see anything and then just hold it down with your finger. And then I'm going to do the same on the sides. Do not put your glue too close to the edge, otherwise you won't be able to stitch through when we do the edging. So I just glue nice and close all around the fingernail post to make sure that all the backing is nicely secured so it's not moving around when we go to stitch it up. Once we've glued everywhere to our liking, then we can go ahead and cut off the excess backing material. For the large sunflower earrings, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut out a square that is a bit bigger than our ear. Then I can just copy that square for the other side, and then we can start gluing it on and getting it all together. Again, you're going to fold it in half lengthwise, like so, and then you can mark and cut. Make sure you got a little bit of excess on the top and the bottom, again, so everything lines up and we don't have any exposed backing felt and stitched area. So this one, I just snipped it right away instead of adding a mark, and then we can push it through and repeat that same process. This one's obviously going to require a little bit more gluing since it is a lot bigger than our little stud earrings. And you can see I'm able to push it through with ease because this is a thin leatherette material. Again, you might need to use a needle to poke a hole through just so you don't bend it, depending on how thick or difficult to penetrate your material is. And then adding that glue right there and putting it down. Remember with Gorilla Glue, you really don't need a lot. Just add a couple little drops and spread it around. E6000 will also work, but I prefer Gorilla Glue because it glues faster and it doesn't have the awful smell that E6000 does. Make sure to glue everything down so it's nicely secured. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and trim off the excess again. And there you go, your earrings are all ready to go and you can start doing the edging on them. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I noticed recently that 60% of you guys aren't subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications every time I upload a new tutorial. Thank you and have a beautiful day.